Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you how I made some grips for my Nintendo Switch for use in handheld mode. I like the comfort that the Joy-Con grip provides when using the Joy-Cons as a single controller. However, in handheld mode, I find that the Joy-Cons are too small and I can't really get a good grip. Playing it in uh, portable mode gets really tiring after a while. I've always wondered why they never made a Joy-Con grip that can detach and separate into two. I know there are complete cases with bulkier grips, but I wanted something that would attach to the Joy-Cons only and most of the time if you have a case on the switch it won't fit into the official dock so basically i took a joy con grip cut it in half and then i attached them to some joy con guard covers i've seen others who've glued the grips directly to the joy cons but i thought it was a little bit extreme so instead i used some of these pdp armor guards i picked up at best buy they're on sale for about five dollars there are many of these guards to choose from just make sure you get the ones that are made out of hard plastic and not the soft uh, gel kinds. I'd also recommend using a third party Joy-Con grip if you don't want to hack up an original Nintendo one. So I have this Joy-Con grip that I never use since I have the power grip so I didn't mind sacrificing it. I carefully removed the center piece of the Joy-Con grip by removing some of the screws. You need some tri-wing screwdrivers for that and the piece this piece in the center here can still be used later on if you want to put the joy cons together and then cut the grip in half and for the armor guards i had to cut a little bump off on the bottom of it so it would sit flush when i glued them together so for fusing them together i recommend using some sort of epoxy i use uh, jb weld since it's really strong stuff jb weld comes in two tubes and you mix an equal amount of each tube together and then apply an even coat onto the surface so make sure you scratch up the surfaces that you plan to glue together since it will give the epoxy more surface area to attach to for a better hold. I then clamped them together and left it to dry and cure for at least 24 hours. I actually left them on for about two days just to be sure. When JB Weld cures, it turns into this really dark gray hard material. So that's when you know it's it's all ready to go. And that's all there is to it. After it's dried, you could put your Joy-Cons into the grip and then attach them to your Switch. It's 10 times more comfortable for long play sessions. The great thing about these grips is that you can still put them into the official dock. And for about $10 worth of parts, you can easily make one of these grips for your Nintendo Switch in handheld mode. There's definitely a need for this since there are grips like this for other portables like the PSP, Vita, and even Game Boy. Until they do, you can always make one yourself. The great thing about these grips is that you can still combine the Joy-Cons together and use it like a single controller. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll have links to everything I mentioned in the description. Comment, like, share, or subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.